So I bought a gun in this summer and I only get to use that gun once. The reason is because one, the weather of the area was pretty shitty I would say, lots of rains. Second, none of my friends wanted to come shoot with me. So finally, I convinced a friend to come and enjoy this skeet shooting with me and uh, Haan, kis -kis First of all, I, I'm not putting anything inside, so I just want to show you like. Okay. Okay. So, there you go. We have to put here, so make sure our face is not going to touch with the gun. What if it touches? Then you are messed up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pull. Like nice. <laughs> no luck next time. Pull! Three. Bye. Put that back here. Pull! Pull! Dio chera! That was a fun time shooting after a very long while but in the end we had to make a run for our lives because a park ranger came who like a game ranger and they wanted to check the licenses and uh, I don't have one. <laughs> okay so uh, from where you get the biryani? I don't know how to make a biryani mm. but because my mom said I should eat food at home. So I'm gonna make a phone call uh -huh. in someone else's house okay. <laughs> and have the biryani ready. Look how many Pakistani people are. They don't believe the mother that they don't believe the mother that they don't believe the mother. Right? <laughs> yeah. Just came back for some shooting and as you know I'm hungry now so it's time for some drawing buzzy. I mean some phone call. Ah, oh, after a long, tiring day, finally time to relax. Peace and quiet. If only every day were this blissful. Oh ho. What could he want now? Hello. Hey ma'am, how are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you doing? What you up to, ma'am? Um, I'm, I'm cleaning. Yeah, I'm cleaning. I was feeling hungry and I was thinking if you can make some biryani. Biryani? At, at like 6 o'clock at night? Yes. Yes. Biryani. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm not doing anything important. Um, yeah, I can definitely manage that. Okay. I'll come pick it up in 2-3 hours. Okay. See you soon. Bye. So? I guess I have the camera for right now. I didn't really expect my evening to end like this, but hey, what can you do? When there's a brown boy in the picture, they're always hungry, and especially for biryani. Actually, yeah, this is a good point. Um, tell me in the comments below, I mean, does anyone else have this experience with um, brown guys and their love for biryani or food? Yeah, let me know. I'd love to hear your take on that. like any kind of rice. He likes a special, certain, homemade, desi style rice, just like his mom would make. So after so many tries, watching YouTube videos, learning from all different places, I finally got it down pat. I know exactly how to make it. So without further delay, let's get cooking. Very last moment to make this biryani. I did not get a chance to marinate my lamb. 
I usually do that, but in this case, I did not have time. So I just have my plain halal lamb that I got from a local grocery store. Some other ingredients I'm going to be using. Desi ghee, can't forget that. Ginger garlic paste, that gives a nice flavor as well. Obviously fry up an onion to get that going and give some flavor. And last but not least, Shan masala, my absolute favorite masala that I will not use anything but Shan. And this will make an amazing biryani that everyone's gonna love. So first thing first, chop up the onion. Now let me show you guys a trick to chopping onions. So first step, we're gonna take a few healthy dollops of the desi ghee. So I usually like to do maybe, I don't know, two or three, whatever will give us a nice coating on the front of our pan. So once we heat this up, then we're going to fry the onions and the ginger garlic paste. The pan is all heated up and ready, so time to throw these onions in and get them sizzling. So now the onions are getting a little bit done. I'm going to be adding some of this ginger garlic paste. I usually throw in about two or three tablespoons. It depends on the person, but I think that's a pretty good amount. I don't measure perfectly, I just kind of throw in pretty liberally. So we're adding some of that in the pan. And once that raw smell kind of burns off, then we're gonna start to add our meat. Pretty much done. I guess it's time for me to grab my meat. So, I'm gonna take my lovely lamb and add that right in the pan, brown that up. Sean Masala, my absolute favorite. So Sean, if you're listening, please sponsor me as a random American who's making and appreciating Daisy food. So first we're gonna empty this entire packet. Some people might call me daring or brave, but the entire packet goes in because we like spice, we like flavor. After all, it is Daisy food to have flavor. So let's mix this in a little bit. While the rice does its thing and boils, we are going to release the steam from the Instant Pot. All that pressure has to come up and release. And we're gonna see the beautiful meat that we just created. So, this one, we're gonna release the steam. So now the steam and pressure has all been released. It's time to safely open the lid. So just give it a quick little counterclockwise turn. And lift up. And wah, 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 there's our meat. Heat on low. 
here is our biryani. It looks pretty good in my opinion. It's gonna look even better when they mix it all together and serve it right in that plate. So, let's go uh, take it outside to the brown, which is waiting for it. Hello. Thank you so much, ma'am. Here you go. So be careful. It's very hot on the bottom. Just okay, take it from the I got it. There we go. Oh, okay. The biryani is all done. Put it on your seat. I'll put it I on mean, the floor. I mean, on the floor. Yep. Put it on the floor. There we go. Thank you so much, ma'am. I'll have it and I'll let you know how it is. Enjoy. Do tell me. Done. Thank you. Have a good, good night. night. For you to try it. After waiting for the whole day, the biryani is finally here. Uh, now, Numan is bringing the plates and then we will test and see how it come, came out to be. So far so good. Mazik hai na? Lamb biryani hai. Nice. Delicious. Pass, pass, yep. Pass, <laughs> okay. Now it's my turn to try the biryani and see how it came out to be. Oh shit. Ooh. Meat is very nice and soft. Amazing. Spices are nice, well balanced. Not too spicy, not too light. The perfect kind of spice that I like. Plus, the meat is very good, very soft. Anyways, now I'll enjoy my biryani. Of the whole day of waiting, I finally have some food. So I'll have this. And if you guys enjoy the video, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next. Mazi ki banana, na? Hey, feel I'm in a move for a switch up. I hit the function, hit the rose till I hiccup.